Well, thank you for joining me, Brand Image Customer Experience. I had an interesting conversation this morning, one which I'd like to share with you. Now, yesterday I was out in the countryside, country pursuits, out doing what I enjoy, and met with some business colleagues, business connections this morning. And one of them said, I've been asking, meaning to ask you a question, and how can you do what you do? Why is your motto doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do? And it made me ponder for a moment and it made me just have a reflection. My makeup, my vitals, my who am I, what am I, what do I do, how do I do it, who I do it for. And it made me think as to what's got me to this stage. I am who I am at the end of the day, you know, and I'm looking to go forward. And he said to me, why are you so keen on helping businesses? And it sort of made me reflect. And I said to him, well, it's very simple. I've been given so many opportunities. I've made so many opportunities in my life. I was fortunate enough to be very good at sport all the way through school. I've played and competed at the majority of sports there are. I've ridden horses, I've raced motorbikes, I've done clay target shooting, rugby, football, cricket, athletics, triathlon, dual athlon, mountain bikes, British Championship, international motorsport. And I've been very fortunate along that way to have businesses that have run alongside them. And I've said to him, my first business bank account was when I was 17 years of age. And I've worked in the family business and I've helped the family business. And I've gone off and I've engaged and other people have headhunted me. So I suppose I've been very fortunate. And my personal view is you cannot be at the top of your game forever. So in my view, it's a case of helping others. Along this path, I have learned so much. I have developed so much. So many solutions have come to so many problems. Working with great innovators, great consultants, great leaders, great architects of thought and imagination, NLP, psychology, business development. I'm a member of the Institute of the Directors, a member of the Institute of the Motor Trade, the Institute of Hospitality. I like to see a business and to take it that one step further, maybe into a new place I can't go or I'm not going to be able to get. Where do I see myself in five years time where I am today? Enjoying myself, enjoying my life, growing my network. Where do I see you ahead of me? I see you developing. I see you growing. And as the team of consultants around us, We are there to help you develop your future. What are you leaving as your legacy? Now, I have two wonderful nephews. I've got a few, you know, godchildren. And I'm making a better place for them. They want more in their life. 10, 15 years ago, nobody all, you know, we didn't all have computers, laptops and iPads. That's the way they're working. And I'm encouraging them to see what the countryside is. Taking them to new places experiencing new ideas, going to new, shall we say, new destinations. The more you can experience, the more you can learn. And I said to this person this morning, leaders are readers and readers are leaders. Knowledge is power and power is knowledge. The only way you go forward is by the help of others. Your success is a stepping stone. And if I've put those stepping stones down so that you can get to where I am and then use me as a leapfrog to go further, that's my purpose. To leave you in a better place than I found you. So I suppose that comes back to brand image and customer experience. Are you leaving your customers, your staff in a better place? Are they taking you forward? Are they carrying the business on? And there's a comment that we use in motorsport. The wheel has been around for many, many, many years. It was a stone wheel. It became a wooden wheel. It became a 
a rubber wheel. It became rubber and wood. The old cart horses used to tow a, a wooden wheel with a rubber around it. Then we came to pneumatic tyres. We've now gone into carbon, 3D, graphite, titanium. However, the wheels are now built, but they're still round. So evolution is changing, but it's every step of the way. The man that made the round wheel would still be happy. The man that made the diesel engine would still be happy. But it's evolved. How have you taken it forward? And I do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Everybody overtakes you, but helping them on their way, they will take you with them and you will enjoy your life even more.